Now let's take a look at the second new mode, Feature Recognition by Chains. First, I'll add an iMachining 2D operation to the cam part. And then I'll choose the Feature Recognition by Chains mode. This mode enables you to use SolidCam's chaining method to pick the features you want to machine, and it's intended for features that do not necessarily have a floor face to select. iMachining uses the chain selection in combination with the solid model data to recognize the machinable feature. So for example, I want to define an operation to machine away the excess material of this through pocket. I'll go back to the operation dialog box, I'll click new to define my chain. In this case, I'll pick on the lower contour of the through pocket, click yes to accept my chain, and click OK to define my chain geometry. Finally, I'll choose my tool for the operation. When I click Select, we can see in the graphics area that the machining region is highlighted. Based on the updated stock, the upper level is detected as we could see here, and the level at which the chain was selected is defined for the pocket depth. Now typically, I'd want to modify my pocket depth to machine deeper than the bottom of the through pocket. Before I do that, I want to show you in this case how the updated stock is recognized and automatically updated if a previous operation is edited. I'll save and calculate this operation, and then I'll go back to my first operation, and I'll modify the pocket depth to be, let's say, minus 5 millimeters. Now since all the operations defined thus far are sharing data, I can click Save and Calculate with all related operations. And in the cam tree, we can see that all operations are being recalculated and updated based on my change. I'll exit this operation, and then I'll edit my through pocket operation. Now we can see in the graphics area that the upper level is appropriately modified based on the updated stock. Next, I'll modify the pocket depth here to go beyond the bottom of the through pocket. Note in the graphics area, the machinable feature is updated dynamically. Now I can again save and calculate this operation. And I'll also take a look at the toolpath from the cam tree. as well as the updated stock before and after the operation. Stay tuned for another example that uses the same mode, Feature Recognition by Chains.